My Heart Will Go On immortalized the story between Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet and forever impacted Celine Dion and her career. However, the Quebecois Canadian singer didn't want to record it. Director James Cameron wanted nothing to do with having a final song in his masterpiece, and much less a pop version. How can the story of a worldwide tragedy end with a pop song? The hard work behind My Heart Will Go On is largely due to its composer, James Horner. He had worked with Cameron on the music for Aliens. The first choice for the Titanic soundtrack was Enya, but the Irish musician refused and so James Cameron thought of Horner. Horner began to compose his masterpiece. On the one hand, he contacted Will Jennings to write the lyrics. On the other, he began to sketch out an idea of who might sing it. In 1997, Celine Dion had just swept the American market with her fourth album, Falling Into You, which sold millions of records and reached the top of the charts. In film, she had just performed songs for Beauty and the Beast and Sleepless in Seattle and was looking to distance herself from being the soundtrack singer. The secret was in her voice and Horner knew it. They met in 1991 when Celine auditioned for the song in An American Tale, Five Old Goes West, which ended up going to Linda Ronstadt. The meeting took place in the suite at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. Horner sat at the piano in front of Dion and her husband and manager, René Angelil, and showed them what he had in mind. The chords were a beauty, but the singing just terrible. René stopped him in time before ruining everything and assured Horner that Celine would record the demo saying, James, 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 listen to me. You're not doing justice to the song right now. I'm going to make a deal with you. Let's have Celine make a demo. Dion was nervous and a bit under the weather. By the time they arrived at the hit factory, she was ready to get started. She went inside the recording studio, flipped the light switch, and was alone in the booth. She put on the headphones and sang the song in one go. When she opened the door, everyone was crying. There was no second take and Cameron immediately loved it. The version heard at the end of Titanic is the only time Celine recorded it in the studio. My Heart Will Go On was released on December 8, 1997, six weeks before the premiere of the film. At first, there was little interest, but that all changed when the film came out. The song took off and never slowed down. Over 20 million records were sold. It won the Oscar and swept the Grammys. Critics consider it almost as big as the film. <laughs> 